I'm actually gonna cut my hair. Oh! It started to look very, very weird. Um, since it's already already been bleached also, it has given it a skinnier end at the end. Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe today is a new day we got a boy we got a biker we got a biker we got a biker 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 let's go let's go let's go let's go all right before i take out my hair twist it out of here i'm actually going to cut my hair oh. myself up with different things i need to edge up man i'm over my already coming off like right here boom it's like it's out it's like i'm it's like i'm done i'm done with you bruh like you but you had me in here for like three weeks you serious look her up i'll give you guys some quick tips also how to make yourself presentable with your dreadlocks whether it is facial uh, touching up or lining up you should at least be able to do lineups on your hair man if you can't do cuts that's fine i know cuts can be a little difficult but lineups you should be getting it down man like this is so simple and easy like i said lineups should be something that you practice and to get it done you need lineups at any time of your life, bro. So might as well start practicing right now. Go to your barbers for actual cuts and stuff like that. Of course, that can take time to learn. So I don't even I don't even recommend you guys to learn from scratch because your hair is hard. But you guys want to save money and different things like that. You guys can go ahead and watch tutorials. For me, if I wasn't doing hair and stuff like that, I wouldn't want to learn how to cut hair. I want to learn how to line myself up, though. Actually, I take that back. I would want to cut my hair because sometimes I just be looking like who done it unto who. But to start off, you just start by doing like a little bit of guidelines the first guidelines then you start working your way up to the top and it's by flickering you're able to get the fade if you guys want to watch the tutorial that i've done with my haircut watch that uh it's really good because it gives you tips for dreadlocks how to avoid some mistakes that a lot of people make when, when they have dreadlocks and how to cut hair with dreadlocks is different than how to cut hair with waves and so just watch that video if you guys get the chance to love y'all guys now it's time to get this twist out of my hair let's go all right guys before we get into the video actually i want to announce something really quick first thing first i want to say thank you to everybody that has been subscribing to my channel liking and commenting i love when you guys comment because uh it gives me the ability to read what you guys thoughts are and also try to reply as much as i can with the busy schedule that i have you know working and different things sometimes it's hard to respond to everybody but if you leave like a meaningful comment something that is uh you know a question or something like that i try to get back to you as soon as possible and then thank you guys for those that you know comment down below things like you know hey banger video and different things like that because that motivates me to keep on bringing more video even if i don't reply to the comments so i just want to say thank you for that we're almost at 30 000 subscribers and to me that's so crazy because we started this channel two years ago and for you guys to keep on showing me support i'm able to do this every single week for the past two years i've produced and brought out a video for you guys and that's crazy to imagine i think i have over 200 videos you know that shows consistency and the fact that i really do appreciate you guys if i didn't appreciate you guys i wouldn't do this because the money was not in it in the beginning it's some it's somewhat pretty good right now but i want to take it even to the next level and that's why i started treating this as a business versus just a hobby but like i was saying we since we hit 30 000 subscribers i wanted to do a special dreadlock reviews for those of you guys and also give you guys a shout out because you guys have been amazing people amazing subscribers amazing supporters amazing family to me so there is two ways to enter this giveaway one is to go to our new channel pineapple world and go to uh subscribe to that channel then instagram dm me of your subscription and also your dreadlock journey there's only two ways like i said and the second way is to go to the facebook group page for pineapple world it's called pineapple fam should be linked in the description and send us the journey that you have been going through so that we can end up reviewing your dreadlock so like i said there's only two ways one is to subscribe to the youtube channel and dm me on the pineapple world instagram 
Instagram to get into the dreadlock review and secondly is to go to the actual group of what we have created which is a you know pineapple world pineapple family where we connect with others people that are on the same journey like us all right now let's get into the video I'm gonna use a scissor at the same time I want to keep the rubber bands or the poly bands it's actually called poly band because I only have 300 of these you know what I mean and I do my hair a lot so I don't want to lose <laughs> They're pretty good, good too. Like it, it didn't break. Mostly, like by this time, you know, it'll be like off, off the chain. Most of it, some, some of them are broken on the sides or in the back, but the rest looks pretty good. Hey, this thing is stressed out. Alright guys, I just got done taking out all of them. As you can tell, the ends of it, since it was under a rubber band, it had a lot of pressure to go through. So it started to look very, very weird. Um, since it's already already been bleached also, this is one of my skinniest drill locks. And since it's already been bleached also, it has given it um, you know, like a skinnier end at the end. And so you can see the damage that it made. Uh, especially on the ones that are that were very tight they had made some damages because it started to really squish it down and uh, you know just firmly hold on to it and so that's the only you know cons with two strand twists is that you uh, when you put the rubber band on at the end you end up just you know combining it like this and or twisting it like this and you know on top of the twist you putting a rubber band on will end up causing your you know the bottoms to thin out um, and to curl up basically and so that's the only cons about it besides that the uh, hairstyle is amazing I don't do this often so I'm not really like mad or anything about it uh, some people get mad about it and I'm not the type of person to get mad at my hair but to learn from it it's all a journey and an experience and uh, I love the journey of it uh, whether uh, you know I have to fix something whether something goes bad on it whether you know challenges come it's just with life you know life is a journey and so if you just focus on the wrong things and bad things you, you just you just you know you're not going to be grateful for it just like how you go through a rough stage which i started calling ugly stage rough stage now because it's not really truly ugly it's just rough right it's just you just dealing with the rough part of life uh just like you can't call bad day an ugly day you just call it like Oh, today was a rough day. I don't like calling it a bad day. Why would I make it a bad day? It's all on how I feel about it, right? So why would I tell my feelings to feel like a bad day? Why ruin the day for me? You know what I mean? So all uh, I would say with Dreadlock is that you have a rough stage. And uh, the, when you come out of that rough stage, you will really start to appreciate. And that's why I created the channel, you know, uh, Pineapple World is uh, somebody had asked why pineapple and when you study pineapple look up pineapple even how it's made it's one of the one of a fruit that is made with a lot of patience and with a lot of um, I would say precise precision uh, because you can't get it to where it's too ripe because it tastes too sweet uh, and or you can't take it out early uh, then it tastes sour so you have to you know you have to harvest it at the right time at the right season and it may look rough on the outside but the inside is sweet and that's what the journey is about you know the journey might be rough but the result of it is sweet and that's why i came up with the pineapple and uh the lord actually helped me with that because i was just thinking about like what like what direction do, do i go from here Set six months ago or so and so i've been working on it and it finally came out you know it's pineapple world where your journey matters and so yeah, you guys are in your journey, uh, whether you have a bleached, have a ruined, have a anything, you can still turn it around unless you shave it off because then you can't really turn it around. You can start a new journey though. So so this is what it looks like at the end, the end result. Uh, the only why, the only reason why you don't see a lot of curliness is because some of them started to come out prior. So like 
for example this has already been out and it's pretty thick too so it's like you can't constrain it in one place since it's a thick dreadlock so it's just going to pop out the ones that are really done good is a skinny dreadlock and that's why i recommend this for those of you guys have skinny dreadlocks one of the things i'm envious about you guys that have skinny dreadlocks is that you guys can do a lot of styles and it looks really phenomenal versus a thicker dreadlocks it's kind of hard to do something uh because it's just resist against it even if i put it in a ponytail or something it just the resistance is higher than the skinnier dreadlocks and so i'm envious about that but this is it guys this is the result i want to go i want to show you guys the slow motion of course you know i do the highlights for you guys all the time because i know you guys enjoy that and comment down below if you guys will ever get a two strand twist or if you have done it before comment down below and let me know what the result is do you like it scale it one to ten how much you like two strand twist i really like two strand twist i think i give it a nine even a ten because it's just so easy so looks nice it looks appealing and uh it just shows that you know the maturity of your locks too just like wow you can do two strands with and put it in a ponytail or just let it down i let it down because of that reason you guys don't see me usually laying down my hair a lot of people recommend me to do that i don't know man and laying down my hair is just tough just gets in my face i get annoyed i'm like Ugh, get off my face man i'm trying to eat watch this and then you see all this hair, just, just, just. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't stand it. You know, type of deal, but sometimes I like to rock it down. Uh, or when I did the two strand twist, it was easier because it was just fat. So all I have to do is just tuck it in right here or something like that and the other ones will end up coming out. Uh, because one thick dreadlock on the on your ear literally blocks the rest of them. I don't know how that worked, but it did work for me. And so yeah, thank you guys for enjoying this video. Comment down below what your thoughts are. Don't just leave here just watching the video. Uh, make sure you say something about you know anything that you learned or anything that you have a question or anything you have a suggestion because I learn from you guys as much as you learn from me. Thank you guys for watching this video. Keep acting the verse and creating your universe. I'm Activerse and I'm out. Stay tuned, y'all. Love y'all. Subscribe to the new channel and Dreadlock Review.